Next, I'm going to add this extrude from the sketch to the circle solid. We're not going to create a new solid, but add into a circle, the cylinder solid. Uh, to do that, just go to solid functions. There's, there's two ways. One is select solid, select add, select extrude. Another way is, is select the sketch first, and then right click on the screen, right click, and Simatron will try to read uh, what you are doing and predict uh, those functions that you're going to use and list up on this list here. After you right click, then you can select here, okay, I'm going to use the add extrude. And then uh, you have a lot of options. So we have uh, one side or both sides. So we're going to add extrude to both sides by 2.5. This side. If in the future you forgot how to use this function, uh, don't worry. You can always press F1 on the keyboard for the online help, F1. So Simatron will, will go and search all the related helps and show you. Uh, in our online help, besides some text, some pretty uh, pictures, we have also a movie to show you how to work on these functions. So if you stuck anywhere, don't forget to, don't forget to press F1 to look at the movie from the online helps. Let's close this. So after keying 2.5, 2.5, next is to create this, uh, select this OK buttons. Uh, I'm going to show you another tips. I can select the OK button without moving my mouse my cursor. How? Just right click anywhere on the screen. Just right click and the OK button will automatically go to the mouse. Then just click OK to add this extrude to the cylinder solid. Next, we're going to add a 3 degree depth on the cylinder face this is the linter phase. So just go to solid and we're going to use the taper functions. Taper. And we have option here, neuter plane or neuter control. We will change the neuter control and select this H as our neutral control. Then press the meter button of the mouse. And then you will ask you to select the face to be tapered. So this will be this little face and press the meter button again and click the arrow head to flip the taper side and we're going to put in three sorry three degree and you can always uh, right click on the screen select this preview buttons to preview the result. If this is okay Again, right click on the screen, select OK. Next, we will go going to create the 0.8 round at the back side. To create the round, you have, uh, of course, again, you can always select from the icons, solid, a uh, round. Or you can always directly, for example, I select this 2H. Uh, make sure the 2H is highlighted in red color. And then you just uh, right click and select round. Then press the meter button of the mouse to, to confirm the 2H. Then you can key in 0.8. And you can click the preview button to preview the result to see whether it is okay or not. You can rotate it, rotate the model by pressing control key plus the left button of the mouse. 
If this is OK, just again select the right click and select the OK button. Next, create the 0.5 round on the front edge. I will select this edge and this edge. Uh, if you mistaken select a face like this, you can always use the clear selection. Click this and again select the edge. Then right click, select round. Press meter button to accept the two edge and change value to 0.5. And you can preview the result. If this is OK, then again right click on the screen, select OK to create a front, front round. Next, we will create a four round on this four intersection edge. Right click and say round, need a button to accept the 4 edge. Uh, value is 0.5, then we can click on the preview button to preview the part to look at the part. You can change to uh, other modes, for example, transparent mode to look at the model transparently, or you can change to the Wireframe mode to check the result or go back to the original, the shading mode. Then click OK. Now we will create a uh, sketch on the top face of the cylinder. Uh, Go to sketch. Uh, so I'm going to sketch on the space from the zero outside. Uh, we'll give a dimension of uh, 3.5. Then right click, exit from sketcher. And select the clean selection to clear all selections. Now we're going to add a 0.5 extrude to the object, to the solid, add, extrude. I will select this, this contour, and then we're going to put uh, one side, only uh, 0.5, and then select OK. Now let's shove this solid object uh, into 0.1 thickness. Go to solid and select shell. And the global thickness will put 0.1 and offset inside. And uh, pick open face. So you need to select which face is open. Make sure the top face is selected and uh, bottom face selected. Because these two faces is open face. You can click the preview to look at the part, whether it is OK or not. Yeah, it looks like this. It's good. Then you select OK to confirm it. A shell. Next, we're going to create the 0.125 round, solid round. And uh, we will create, select this edge and this edge and this edge to be 0.125. A skin 0.125 and click preview to look at the result. If this is OK, then select OK. We have another round, so they round, but this time is at the back edge. Uh, do you see this one? The smooth change on. If I on it, it means if I click one of the edge. And it will make sure all the other each that is tangent to it automatic selected. If let's I'll do a clear selection again. If I change off, I mean it will only select this edge. It will not select the neighboring edge. 
So make sure you use the smooth change options to select all of this edge and press the middle button to accept and for this we'll change the form 1 inch preview and select OK And last, we're going to use this uh, create another round again. So round and select this edge. You can see here smooth even. Uh, I put smooth change on. Uh, this edge is not selected because it is not tangent. So I need to select three times. Press middle button to accept. And zero point one will be okay. Let's preview. and OK. Create another round again on this edge. I click round and this is 0 0.05 and OK. Next I'm going to create a variable round. So solid round and I'm going to select this edge and then I'll change the constant radius to variable radius uh, initial one, this one's point 0.1 this side also point 0.1 and I'm going to select a endpoint here locate another value somewhere here and point and uh, this two will be point three point three and this and this will be point three seven five point three seven five preview if this is ok then select ok finally we will grid around on the remaining edge rounds on this 2 edge over here uh, we will put the value of 0 0.08 preview the result if this is okay.